Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn weekly money and career reading from June 26th to July 1st, 2023. Capricorns, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. June 26th to July 1st. Money and career for the sign of Capricorn. The lovers, beautiful, and page of page of wands. So you're starting something new, or at least you're enthusiastic on a new situation, opportunity, job, business, whatever it is. And it's something that really rings a bell to you. It is you're clear on this. This is something that really hits home. I like that. Um, the lovers is all about clarity and honesty. Honesty and, you know, that authentic, authentic sorry, and genuine um, feeling that you have that this is the right choice, that your choice in the matter, whatever this is you're starting with the Page of Wands, it is something new. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, that the Ace of Swords, new direction or that breakthrough, that clarity that you have on a situation, on an opportunity. And I think that now you can articulate what it is you want, what it is you believe in, what it is you stand for. You're in touch with your inner guidance, your inner soul, what is important for you right now, it, your feelings, your emotions, how you um, connect with this breakthrough, right? With this clarity. And so this is opening up your heart, opening up your heart to what is most important for you. And it's also you figuring out, you know, your philosophy, ready, ready to establish what is essential for you to go out in the world, right? That is what the lovers is all about. No filter. What you see is what you get. And I feel like that is, you know, that true honesty coming out, that, that true pragmatism coming out, sincerity, on you know it's it's the right choice for you it's the right moment for you and um it's 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 time to do this because you're comfortable with it and um it's where you belong and this ace of swords just confirms this breakthrough this mental clarity this breakthrough in your mindset so it can be a new career move. It can be finally you see the light. Finally, you're understanding what's going on. Yes, two of pentacles. Finally, you're able to organize yourself, prioritize, make that decision that you have really wanted for a long time. Nine of cups, your dream, your decision, your choice, your baby. This is what you've thought about. This is what you have tried to build for a long time. This is where you want it to be. Yes, you have to make a choice. Yes, you have to sort things out. There's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to figure out. You have to sort things out. But you're, you're at the end of that cycle, Ten of Wands, the stress, the competition maybe, the work overload, right? A lot of responsibilities, a lot of things going on, but this is what you want to do. So you're pushing through all the difficulties and all the past cycle, the finishing up that cycle. Maybe, for example, you're in a job and you've been in a job or in a business for a long time and you have wanted out for a long time or you have wanted to change careers or start your own business or go back to school or just shift right and you have understood that it was the end of a cycle you have understood that 
it didn't feel as comfortable or it didn't feel as um, clear or inspiring. Um, and you have had on your mind that decision to pick up and leave or that decision to start your own thing or change your careers. It'll be different for everyone. And I feel like here is that moment, that moment where you understand, first of all, what you want or how you are building it, what your next step is, what your next move is, and how you can make this all happen by, you know, resituating yourself and sort of triaging everything that was cumbersome in your way and understanding, you know, to pave that path, to open that path to your dream to your ideal job or that idea you want to develop or that business you want to start. And you are listening to others. You are guided maybe by others and you're moving into something calmer, but also an energy of growth, an energy of understanding, learning, learning new. Again, you can be good, taking classes. Um, or, you know, taking online classes and wanting to develop your, uh, your skills to develop your expertise in a new field, you're eager to learn. And I feel like this idea, this project, opportunity, job, whatever it is, it'll be different for everyone, is exciting for you really exciting to the point where you're almost like a child chitty chatty about it you know talking to people about it eager to learn from others eager to learn from other people's experience that's why i feel like maybe you're going to take classes or something like that but even so maybe you're not it's just you understanding now it's time it's time you wanted to do this for a while it's the moment where it's happening and you are open to others. You are open to listen to others with this Queen of Cups. And maybe you even have a water sign around you with whom you can talk to that is guiding you, helping you, listening to you on this new journey to a new job, to a new opportunity. And it's, it's allowing you to believe in yourself again. It's allowing you to trust yourself in your decisions again. Not that you weren't trusting you before, but you were in the same old, same old, you were in your job, making it happen, paying the bills, that day-to-day -day routine, but you've always had on your mind that certain plan or, you know, a project or idea in your mind, right? With this nine of cups. And this is the moment where it is coming together, or at least in your mind, you know that that's what you're going to do now. And you are organizing yourself to begin your next chapter. And now you have figured out a way to build it, right? Whether it be with other people or taking classes or reorganizing your schedule, this is where you stand now with this, um, ace of ace of swords it, it's a new direction for sure not only a new direction so it can be a complete new job a complete new career or something you're opening something you're starting but also something that you're so happy and so comfortable with because this is your maybe your true vocation maybe your soul idea Right. And um, it, it's it's it seems like it's a passion here. And here you are, Capricorn. Right. Here you are with that passion right here. I like that. I like that, really, because so let's say you had a passion. Let's say you have a passion with kids, with animals, with art, with music, whatever it is. Right. With the environment, with the planet. Um you are working on that. And now you're working on your trajectory towards that goal, right? It's, it's growing. 
with the star. And I feel like with the star here, you're also um, calming your energies, right? Understanding that this is the moment where as these energies are calmer, you're able to develop new opportunities to sort of bloom in a certain new energy. And it's it's sort of that place where you belong, that place where you feel protected, and that place where you feel inspired. So maybe you're going back to reliable sources. Maybe you're going back to a place that makes sense to you, right? Back to a company or a team of people or a community or a place that really inspires you. And that is where you can create. And this is the future of your career. This is the future of your career that is bringing back sort of calm and serenity, you know, calmer vibes, calmer energies. And um, I feel like your, your environment in this new path is calmer and, and much more creative. You might be with a circle of people like-minded, right? Maybe it's all musicians or people writing music or, um, you know, people involved in, in a certain cause. And that is what is important for you to push forward. And I feel like you're comfortable and you're happy that it's now that it's happening. Wow. Capricorn. It's beautiful. These readings have been wonderful, by the way, uh, this week. Uh, you might want to check your rising or your moon sign. I mean, because they are all fascinating. They are all important. And um, they, yes, they have a sort of soul revelation here um, this week. All of them are soul revelations. And they take us to a different level. And I feel like these readings have been like this, this week and the past week. Um, sort of like since the world is chaotic and ever-changing, we are adapting, right? And that we know. We've established that. I have done many readings on that. And we know that we have to adapt every inch of the way. And it doesn't always feel comfortable. And it doesn't always feel like it hits home, right? That we can actually understand. But we also realize that we have to continue to be ambitious. And we have to continue to be creative all while being in this turbulent energy and that's not easy and it's not easy for anyone all ages wherever you situate yourself in the world economically socially it is complicated and as i have said in all these this week's readings and and particularly this week it is hitting home the generation gap the generation gaps everywhere within the workforce, within life, the misunderstandings of generations and the point of view and the dynamics that are completely different. And it's hard to find that link. It's fine. It's hard to find that emotional connection or the mental intellectual connection in the point of view, in the way of working, in the dynamic, uh, in the day-to-day -day dynamic, in the day-to-day -day understanding of workforce and energies. Very complicated. And I feel like here in these readings, that is exactly it because it's so complicated we are all focusing on ourselves profoundly, profoundly to find that source within us to make it come out and make it important for us. Because if someone else is not going to make it important or if we are not going to find our importance, our power, our confidence, our, our um, creativity, our inspiration, our ambition, call it whatever you want. If, 
if within an environment or a group of people or a company or people that you know want us to work with them or whatever it is if they're not if no one's going to see us for who we are we have to empower ourselves every inch of the way very complicated uh it seems natural but it is not natural anymore and here we have the Ten of Cups, finding your harmony. Everybody is trying to find their self-harmony, their personal serenity, their personal space, their personal comfort zone, all while find, keeping that ambition. And here you have that Ten of Cups, that Nine of Cups, and that Ten of Cups. Finding your serenity. And I feel like that's really what you're finding. Your own path, your own way. Eight of, eight of wands, moving quickly, you can be moving. Action forward, sudden action, sudden movement forward with this queen of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe you are moving forward in something specific with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Talking, messaging, someone with whom you might be working with. Ten of wands again. We know this is the end of a cycle. The star again, a lot of repeats. You believe in yourself, believe in your star, believe in your creativity. And here we have the six of cups. Finding your comfort zone, right? And it's really about finding that peace, that protection, that peace within your community, your group, your career, your job, whatever it means, and, and in protecting this sort of long-term job, right? This long-term calmness. Six of Cups, finding that soul tribe or getting back home, hitting back home. Home being whatever makes sense to you where you find your inspiration and feel comfortable and feel you're with your your tribe, your people, your family. And, and it'll be different for everyone. Two of Wands, there you are, preparing the future, planning, planning trips, planning, planning this movement forward. It is also empowering because you're moving forward within the world. You're moving forward within a new space, empowering yourself, but also um, you are widening the spectrum, right? So maybe you are traveling, maybe you are moving. Whatever you're doing, you're expanding your career or you're expanding your horizons, your ideas, your creativity or your space or your community. And you are preparing this, however it is that you're preparing, going to school, moving, meeting people, setting things up, logistics, monies, you know, finances, whatever it means for you, you are in the process of starting this new career or this new chapter, call it what it is, Capricorn. Comment down below. Let me know what this new chapter is all about, where you situate yourself in your journey or what your choices are, what your desires are. Let me know what this is all about. Comment down below. And I always say, if you don't feel like commenting, not everybody likes to share their lives on these social platforms. I'll just put a heart down below. Let me know you connected with these energies. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Capricorn, weekly, money and career, June 26th to July 1st, 2023. Capricorn, weekly, money and career. One message for the road. These cards are a little shy. Capricorn. I don't think you're shy. I think you're happy that you, to have found clarity and now to have figured it out. This is where you want to go. This is where you want to, you, where you belong. These, this is the people you want to work with. This is how you're moving this forward. This thing that you've been wanting to do for a long time. Ace of Wands, there we go. Ace of Wands, new 
all new. And, you know, the Ace of Wands is about new chapters, new jobs, new beginnings, right? Whatever it is, it's all about a new dynamic, creating a new dynamic. Action board, the beginning of that, but it's also the beginning of a new passion. Four of Wands, beautiful, celebrating and justice. This is your destiny. This is where you belong. This is what you've wanted. And you've won it fair and square. You've won it because you seek the truth. You seek that honesty, that loyalty that you love so much, Capricorn. And it is with your truth, with your integrity, that you are bringing it home, that you are making this happen. You trust yourself. And you like things very clear, very honest, very pragmatic. You're setting this up in a very organized way and it's, you're bringing it home. I love that. And that's what the justice is all about. But justice is also about control, understanding that you have control over everything. It is your choice, your time. And um, no one is going to take that away from you. You are rigorous, methodical, and uh, a very clear on your desires, very clear, uh, almost like a sense of honor, right? To have done this this way or to have brought this to this level or on this new path. And it's almost like something yeah it's your destiny it's that's where you belong that's what's happening and with this happening you're also finding stability the foundation of your new life the foundation of your new your new job but it's also that new vibration that new energy and it's a logical choice really that you have organized that you have uh, really developed and desired Capricorn. Beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one Capricorn for <coughs> watching this channel, for supporting uh, these readings and this channel. Uh, thank you so much to each and every one from the bottom of my heart, Capricorns. You've always been up there. You've always been one of the signs that has been top three to support this channel. So thank you again. Thank you <coughs> to everyone. <coughs> Have a great week, Capricorn. Take care.